right back on the rubber biscuit, or is it rubber biscuit? How do you say that in French? Uh, le croissant en caoutchouc. I want to get a t-shirt that says that. You should. We should produce those. Nice, yeah. This is Patrice Bergeron. We're in his hometown of Quebec City. If you live in Quebec, you don't have to say the city part, you just say Quebec. Yeah. It's, it's given. Exactly. Yeah. It's the city. Uh, where are we right now? We're actually at uh, Grand Lay Street. This is all the street where uh, all the bars, and there's a couple of restaurants, it's pretty much all the bars from Quebec, and uh, where uh, you got to be at night, I guess. Well, I'm not there, but some guys are. Uh-huh. This is where the magic happens, I think you said earlier? Exactly, yeah. This is where the magic happens. You don't come out here because you're always training, you're yeah, a diligent you're athlete. Yeah. yeah. Never set foot in one of these places ever. No. Drinking age is 18? 18 in Quebec, yeah. You're 21. One. What exactly are we going to do here today? We're going to rock, walk around and I'm going to show you my, my nice little town, Quebec City. Very Quebec. Euro. It is, yeah. It's one of the most uh, European look, look from, you know, in America, I guess. No question. That's for the uh, the army, but I don't. That's like a long time ago. What's uh, old army, like historical army? Historical. What's the name of that though? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is your buddy? My cousin and uh, what are they doing? I don't know. Hanging out in Quebec City, I guess. Did you used to dress like that? Yeah, when I was younger. <laughs> That's how you you gotta be dressed like that to go to yeah. school. You do? Yeah. There's another camera crew over here. What do we got? I don't know, I guess he's uh it's for the news, I guess. He's a correspondent or something. Is he an important guy? Uh, I don't know him. Should I don't know. We go, should we go mess with him? Yeah, sure. Who's the short little bald guy behind him on the statue? Who's the short little bald guy? Yeah, I don't know. He's not that he's big, huh? Like four, four foot four. Yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> it's like the shortest politician <laughs> statue there. Guy's wearing makeup. How come we don't have makeup? Look good naturally, I guess. <laughs> All right, Patrice, so thus far we've seen the, the heavy bar area, which is yep. shocking to have a test mess and crew outside the, the bars. Um, this is the uh, parliament. Yeah, Quebec parliament. This is where it all happens. Yeah. The uh, lords, and they call them the lords in the common, yeah. commons. Uh, parliamentary form of government. Yeah. Just like Canada. Yeah, exactly. We also saw the museum, military museum. Military museum that I didn't, couldn't remember the name. Yeah. We've seen the uh, Battlefields Park, which is also yep. known as Fields of Abraham. Yeah, exactly. We don't know why, but it's famous. It, it is. It's a famous guy, I guess. And it's a Abraham. memorial for all the guys that died in World War I, II, and the Korean War, I think. The castle right that I was talking about, Frog Nag. That big sucker? Yeah, big one in there. That's actually an hotel. That's the Chateau Frontenac? Yeah. And that's where we're headed later in the show. The tour will continue after we meet Patrice, the hockey player, and watch his off season training regimen. Stay with us. Back on the biscuit. Long gone are the days of showing up to training camp looking to get into shape. The NHL season runs year-round as it relates to conditioning. Patrice and his pals in Quebec get after it regularly. It's getting more and more important, I think, uh, especially with the new, the new rules. Uh, the game is so much faster now, so uh, I think it's huge during the summer that you, uh, you get stronger in your legs and uh, get quicker as well and the quick feet and all that stuff. So. I think the off-ice workout is getting more and more important now. The key 
expertise in hockey in uh, not only stamina, it's work on how you can restore as quick, quickly and how you can repeat work, explosive work. Okay, and this kind of circuit, uh, uh, you, you will see uh, six different exercises, plyometric exercise, strength exercise, explosive weight training exercise uh, with a short rest, 45 second rest. These days you arrive at camp, you have to be in shape if you arrive there uh, thinking the training camp is going to make you uh, in shape, you, you start with two, with two stripes, maybe maybe three. Uh, guys are uh, in unbelievable shape uh, when you arrive there. And uh, here we are doing our best. Uh, even we're we're, uh, we're here now. We were uh, on the ice this morning. We always we're going to go run for uh, some stairs in the old Quebec or things like that. So we always keep ourselves busy to be uh, in the best shape possible. Rivals on the ice during the season, friends and workout mates from the same home province during the off season. Well, it's fun. I mean, we're all from here anyway, so if we're all training apart and everything, we kind of, you know, we're, we grew up playing as a team, so we might as well work out as a team. We've been working out together for a couple of years now, and uh, when we're on the ice, it's different, different thing. We, we compete, but off the ice, is a He's just a great guy and he, he's a good friend of mine. We all know each other from before, so it's kind of a... But during the year on the ice, there's no uh, compromise to make for sure. You have to, uh, to be 100 person against your friend. That's, that's one sad part of the game, but that's a part of the game. The game itself is not forgotten in the summertime. Lively scrimmages, equivalent to pond hockey, happen frequently. <laughs> Go out there, play hard, but you know, in the, in a certain way that you don't, you know, you don't hit the other guys. And uh, if you if you get a penalty, uh, it's a breakaway for guys who uh, who got hooked, who got tripped, or whatever. And uh, no slap shot. It's it's kind of obvious, you know, if the demon go out there and uh, and cranks one, uh, you know, it's it's going to be dangerous. And uh, you don't want to you want to break your ankle or something out there. So. Uh, it's uh, you know it's it's just uh, I think it's just obvious rules that uh, we put out there to, uh, to make the game uh, more fun for for the guys. Pretty good practice when you get to skate with a Simone Gagne of the Flyers or of course a Patrice Bergeron of the Bruins. This guy is just just unbelievable. I mean, he got drafted by Boston when he was 18 years old, and uh, year after year he was improving, he was getting stronger and better, and now he's going to be one of the greatest players of the this year in the NHL. One good quality that, uh, that he has, he's he always looking to get himself a better player, uh, try to find a way in the gym, uh, on the ice, off the ice. He's a uh, very uh, professional, even though he's a very, very young guy, still in the NHL, performing at that level. I mean, he's a very impressive player. <laughs> ah, fun in French. French-Canadian, that is. Hey Patrice, what's your favorite TV show? Rubber Biscuit, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, we'll have more of it in just a moment. More with Bergeron the Tour Guide and Bergeron the Hockey Player when we come back. Yeah.